I have a craving, so come make cookies with me. So you know how they say that abs begin in the kitchen. That's why it's so important not to keep the real nasty, naughty food at your house because I went to like scavenge through my house to find something like naughty to eat. And I was like, okay, I have to make something and or if I really, really want it or I won't have anything. So here I am, I chose to make something and it's gonna be cookies. So, so far I threw in there two eggs, I'm gonna mash up one banana and then I'm gonna throw in a bunch of seeds in here, like hemp seeds and some walnuts and some chia seeds. And I'm adding in some grass fed butter as well. And I'm gonna mash these bad boys up. Then I'm gonna add some spelt flour. Mix it together. They're a little too thick, so I'm gonna add a little almond milk. That'll get it probably to the right consistency. I don't measure things, it's just measured with love. I'm adding in some honey. And then I'm gonna add in the chocolate chips. The Lily brand is what we use. Meh, there's not a lot left, but it's okay. That will help with not making it too yummy. You just want it just to be enough to take the edge off, right? All right, I'm gonna mix, 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 and mix. I dash a do, I dash a do. Now it's too loose, but it'll probably be fine because the chia seeds will expand and stuff like that. Now we're gonna scoop it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. My husband always asks me, did you add protein to this? So. Here, I'm doing it for you, babe. I got you, babe. I'm adding a chai protein from Purim. I love this stuff. It is amazing. It is so good. So I'm gonna mix that into my cookies. These are gonna be protein cookies. You're gonna be satiated. You're having a protein snack. Why not finish up your dinner with a little extra protein? All right, look at this. Yum city. Yum city. All right, so I'm still kind of feeling disappointed that I don't have chocolate, but oh well. So I'm just plopping it on the sheet like normal. And um, I'm gonna pop these things in the oven and I guess we'll see how they turn out. Hmm. You know what I feel like most people are not talking about in the fitness diet industry? It's like, oh yeah, do this diet, do this fad, do this thing, right? But like nobody is actually talking about the emotional component of going on a diet, not eating your favorite foods, cutting out everything you love, and maybe potentially the one area of your life that brings you happiness, which could be food. If you're depressed or anxious or you don't have a lot of things to look forward to. None of the diets are addressing this component, and I just think it's freaking insane, because honestly, me as a person who struggled with a food addiction, was highly addicted to sugar, I was like, how come nobody's talking about this? Like, how come people aren't saying, oh my gosh, well, I was addicted to the food, and what is it going to take me to, for me to get over that? So I'm here to talk to you about just that. Guys, listen, the food that is we're addicted to like the fat, the sugar, all these things. It literally is changing your brain chemistry. So you need more and more of it to get that same high, that same point where you can finally relax and release after you get done eating it. So when you decide to take a change and like go on a diet or something, what are you going to do to support your emotional well-being along the journey? How are you going to handle the fact that it is emotional? And to make changes, it's not going to be just as easy as doing something for 30 days. Like, I'm not going to eat cookies for 30 days. It's like, no, this isn't going to flip and work. We have to have a plan or you need to learn the skills to actually change 
the way you are doing things. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to do 30 days and then you're going to binge. And then you're going to try another fad diet and then you're going to binge. So what is that part, that solution? For me, addressing the food story and actually removing the foods that were trigger foods from my day and my life and replacing it with something that was good and bringing me nutrients was the only way that I could actually get over my food addiction. So I had to be smart. I had to make a plan different. So what are you going to do to get over your food addiction? And if you don't think you have a food addiction, then think about removing the foods that you keep turning back to and even try to go one day, two days, three days, four days, five days without it and see if it leaves you in this emotional response. Because I know for me, it was emotional to remove this stuff completely from my life. Hey, hey. what do you got to say about that? About all those treats? Mm -hmm. You want some? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That not enough chocolate. Did you run out of chocolate? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. You coming back in for more? Well, I'm making my own. Protein cookies.